you know, come on in for those who are interested. You know, come on in, come on in. If, if you follow me, you know, follow my social media, you know, Prince L, Prince J Moore L on Instagram, Prince J L on Facebook. And uh, no, that's not that's not an alias. That's not an elodial title. That is my legal name. You know, for those of you who uh, who question it, it's it's not it's not like just a handle. That's that's who I really am. So, um, but I tend to go long anyway in a lot of my videos. So I'm just gonna start right now. All right, get my my eyebrows right. You know, I don't want anybody saying I need to. You know, that's natural right there, baby. I'm just saying, you know, that's natural. Natural. It's, it's genes, baby. No pluck, no no strings, nothing. You know, that's, that's just good genes, you know. You know. No gray hairs either. Well, I got a couple. I got one up here somewhere, and I got some, you know, something happening here in the, in the, the, the fibers of the beard. But, um... Let's uh let me get to it, right? I wanted to talk to you guys about uh about radiation poisoning today, um, because it's come to my attention. It was it was requested by one of my team members how I how um how how they could beat radiation poisoning because the five G concern that is affecting a lot of people right now is it's crazy, you know what I'm saying? So, how can I help to reduce the the public fear surrounding 5G technology and also this Corona outbreak, right? This Corona virus scare. So, here's how we're gonna do that, right? Let's talk about this. You know, let's talk about this. Now, radiation poisoning um, from 5G is also, is, is a major concern right now to a lot of the public. And one of the things that we all need to take, in a, take into consideration is how much we've already previously been exposed to radiation in its various forms. Now, for those of us who are not aware, there are two forms of radiation that we need to be considerate of, right? Electromagnetic radiation, right, which can also come can also come in the form of your cell phone from your television, your your uh what else we got? The the electrical transformers that send electricity to your house, right? They emit a low level of radiation, which, of course, the Fe the Food and Drug Administration does not see as toxic, considering that the body can withstand radiation levels of 33 MSVs. All right, so and that's on an, that's annually so the FDA says that annually the human body can withstand radiation of 33 MSVs right and no more any more than that and a person could could develop degenerative disorders um, of course there are other, the other form of radiation poisoning that many of that many of us who are with pre-existing medical conditions um, they're exposed to, to nuclear radiation that comes in the form of the magnetic resonance imaging or the the uh, the CT scans and the MRIs and the X-rays, right? So one X-ray is enough to 30. They say that 33, which is an interesting number. They say that 33 X-rays is is the maximum number of X-rays a person can receive for a year, right? Basically saying that. They can peace, Lewis. I'm about to have you come on in just a second because I know you got questions, and actually, I would love to have your questions. You know, uh, I'd love to also answer some of your questions because I feel that it'll it would help to uh, to answer some of the public questions that they may have towards the the five G and the coronavirus. So I'm gonna I'm gonna you know please don't go anywhere. I'll try to be brief with this description and explanation of radiation poisoning, right? Um, so with 
with uh, the second type of radiation, MRIs, CT scans, x-rays, a person can receive up to 33 of these things annually, and they say that it will not negatively affect their health or deteriorate their health more than it already is. It won't degenerate it. But my in my medical experience and, and from my perspective, you know, that's not accurate. And the reason why it's not accurate is because the FDA is saying is expressing what they feel is a tolerable level of radiation and poisoning because a person is naturally resilient to radiation. In fact, our bodies are actually emitting a, form, a low level of radiation in our bones, all right? Um, remember, we are composed of molecules, molecules create electricity or some type of energy radiation, you know, or runoff, right? And so what we should also take into consideration is that we are radiating ourselves, right? Like this is the reason why on thermal imaging, there it, there's a heat signature because our bodies are generating electricity. Electricity is a form of heat. We measure heat in the form of calories. Now, for those of us who are not on healthy diets or not exercising regularly, we, those individuals are susceptible to, you know, having, n not being able to rid the body or detoxify the body of the radiation that it is ingesting, right? So ways that we can naturally rid ourselves of radiation poisoning are through naturally through through herbal supplementation through dietary regimens and through exercise i'm going to start with the exercise first because it's easier for people to move around